Hi everyone, I am Dr. Si. I am very glad to have this opportunity to introduce my invention, force limiting and damping device. Since the Stone Age, the first tool in human being history is a hammer. Since the original hammer till now, there is no elastic and the damping device in the hammer. The conventional hammer has no shock absorbing property. My invention introduced this shock absorbing concept to the striking tool. As a dentist, one day I realized that our conventional surgical hammer doesn't have force limiting and shock absorbing property. Using this conventional surgical hammer in surgical procedure will cause some severe complications. This is why I started to study this problem and create a new era. After 20 years of hard work, I developed this force limiting and damping device in the striking tool. Using this device, we can strike and exert constant force every time. And the damping device is a elastic like a coil spring. In the hammer, we can strike an object and the hammer will return to the original height like bouncing the ball. You don't need to raise the hammer every time, which is easier to use. When we strike, the coil spring in the hammer will turn the reaction force into the elastic energy and the preserve in the coil spring. The force will continue to increase. The nail begin to penetrate the wood. The elastic energy will be transformed to kinetic energy to drive the nail deeper. I attended many global events to introduce this surgical hammer and received many good reputation. And the hammer has gained interest in the market. I also presented this shark assortment hammer in many hardware exhibition shows, such as the National Hardware Show in Las Vegas this year, and received the silver medal at the International Invention Exhibition in Nuremberg in 2019. Thank you for your time. And uh, please contact me if you are interested in this technology. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Yunju Liri, and here is our Professor Tian Lu Jun. Today, we are like to share an interesting technology, Universal Antibody Lab to you, which can enhance the disease selectivity and the safety of antibody drugs. We focus on antibody drugs because it's a, a major trend of the drug. However, the long term systemic of antibody drugs has some side effects. It because the antibody not only target the disease region, but also the normal tissue. So it will cause some side effects. Like the arthritis drug, it will increase the risk of cancer and lead uh, enhance 35 percentage serious infection. Second, it will cause some clinical trial failure, like the immunocheckpoint stimulator and hypo one bb antibody. It will cause over immune activation and late liver toxicity. So the clinical trial due to the recent stuff. And this kind of antibody have accumulated 123 antibodies. So it is very important to improve the selectivity of antibody drugs. So we have an idea is to develop antibody luck. We use the autologous skin as Masking domain and use the protease substrate as linker to create the antibody lock. With the antibody lock, the or antibody will be inactive in the normal tissue. Only in the disease area, 
the protease will remove the antibody lock and the antibody can be selective activated and uh, to target the antigen in the disease site. Uh, this strategy can enhance the selectivity of antibody, reduce side effect, and uh, most importantly, it can apply to any antibody drugs. We have successfully applied more than 10 kinds of FDA-approved drugs, include cancer, immune checkpoint, and autoimmune disease. And our patent have applied in 18 countries and granted in 15 countries. We are confident the antibody law can be used on three applications. First, it can use on clinical trial stops or withdrawn antibody, like the anti-CD28 antibody. With our antibody law, and second generation antibody drug. And with one lock, with our antibody lock, it can become a one technology transfer. And the second, it can use on pattern acquired antibody. With the antibody lock, it can create a new pattern and have the new, new prune uh, value. And the third, it can use on new drug which with the uh, serious side effect. With antibody lock, it can increase the value and the break through the market with high safety. Now, this technology will be a uh, uh, finished technology transfer with, from Gaucho Medical University and uh, to start with a new startup company. And Professor Tenrojan will be chief scientific office in the future to help us to make new for antibody drugs. And I will be the CEO who is also the inventor of antibody lab. And my partners, EM, we have uh, attended 2019 BT competition and uh, an outstanding award. And we also have Zhao Yuan Wang as our medical advisor, who is president of the hospital to give us advice from clinical side. And Catherine Zhou will be our business and development advisor. She has helped uh, 21 startups in U.S. company and uh, assist uh, 20 million licenses deal in the past. So we believe our technology can help us to develop the safest and most effective antibody therapy. We we'll provide good luck to make your antibody safer to give you luck. If you have more interest, please contact us. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I am happy to introduce our product, the Display Management Assistant with ePaper Tech, Taichung Veterans General Hospital. Is located in central Taiwan. It started medical services on September 1982. Since 1991, it has been a accredited medical center and the first class teaching hospital by the Department of Health. This is a 1.6 thousand bed hospital with around 4.1 thousand employees. It is able to handle about 7,000 outpatients and 160 patients in the, the emergency room daily. As a public medical center, we provide safe, high-quality medical services with advanced facilities, superior medical information system with AI included, training programs, as well as outstanding research and the development programs. The medication safety is very important. Some research findings, the digital medication system could not prevent medication error. For example, with the clinical decision support system, the doctors still has medication error about 8.8%. With the use of ADC, the nurses still have medication error about 25%. So we want to reduce medication errors. In the traditional inpatient unidose drug box situation, 
the pharmacists have to handwrite patient and the medication information in the sort or drug boxes in very short time. They could make mistakes in the process. Therefore, they need a lot of paper and the time to check and fix patient information and the medication information. To reduce medication errors, we propose the electronic paper dosing box labeled information system. The electronic paper dosing box labels information system can be divided into five subsystems, including one UD box and the display unit, two communication network using IoT technology, three backend information system, four mobile devices with specific apps, and the five hospital information system. By using the electronic paper dosing box labeled information system, the medication safety has significantly improved. From the pharmacist's feedback, the saving time of processing drug boxes was about 3.3 .3 hours per day. The completeness of patient's information is 100% correct. The user satisfaction survey also shown that 98% pharmacists were highly satisfied with this system. Furthermore, the e-paper also has the benefit of saving paper, low power, environmentally friendly, green energy, lightless, and more. Now we have patent certificates in Taiwan and China and got some important awards. We also published some conference papers. The electronic paper dosing box labels information system is very easy to build and low cost for hospitals. In the future, we hope more hospitals will adopt this solution. Welcome to join us. Thank you.